guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be transforming myself into a glam avant-garde version of Snow Miser from The Year Without a Santa Claus. So anyways, without further ado, if you guys are interested in seeing how you can achieve this glam Snow Miser makeup look, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so to get started, I'm going to be showing you how you can color this wig that I just ordered off of Amazon. So to start off, I'm going to be separating the wig and just putting the top half of the hair up so that we can make sure to add some coloring to the bottom half as well. So I'm going to be taking this Colorista Blue 300 and just spraying it at the roots of this section before letting the rest of the hair down and just going straight at the normal roots. I'm definitely going to make sure to brush as I go and definitely focus this where the part is. I'm then going to be taking this blue hairspray that I got from Walmart in the party section and I'm going to be applying this right down the center as well. We're really going to be focusing most of this color at the center of the wig where the wig naturally parts and then just lightly blending it down the rest of the hair, especially as we get into these lighter colors like this color here. This is where we're going to focus it a little bit more on like the middle section of the hair before going into this silver colorista hairspray and applying this all over the wig so it has like a nice shiny sheen but also really focusing this at the tips. I'm then going to be adding a little bit more dimension by applying this black colored hairspray right at the roots. You don't want to do too much, but just enough to create a nice shadow root. And then once that is completed, I'm going to be going into this glitter body spray that I have. And I believe I got this from the party section at Walmart too, or during Halloween, whenever they have this. And I'm just going to be spraying this all over the wig to give it that nice snowy look. And that is it for the wig portion of this video. And we're now moving on to the makeup portion. I'm going to be starting off by taking my Graftobian Pro Paint and White Swan and mixing that with some of my NYX Total Control Foundation in porcelain and applying this all over my face and body using a fluffy foundation brush. I always recommend this whenever using body paints that you want to look seamless and like there's no streaks whatsoever because it really does just blend everything together. It's my favorite tip to recommend to people. Not to mention that white is just naturally a streaky body paint color. It just it's very difficult for it to look nice and seamless, so that's why I also recommend mixing it with a light, pale foundation if possible. That just kind of helps blend and smooth out the formula a bit. And so once you have all of this done, you can go ahead and take some Johnson's Baby Powder on a large fluffy brush, and we're just going to go ahead and set all of our body and face. We are then going to be going into our James Charles Morphe Unleash Your Inner Artist Palette and taking this light blue eyeshadow, I'm applying this all over my brows before going into this darker blue and I'm going to be focusing this primarily just on the tails, blending it a little bit into the front of the brow before going back into our black color and really focusing this so we can create a nice ombre brow. Taking this light blue shimmer shade from the palette, I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone before going into my ColourPop Frozen 2 palette taking water, and I'm going to be applying this right onto my crease and blending it in towards my lid a little bit as well. We're also going to be bringing this down to our lower lash line just to kind of help pull all of the colors together before going into this dark blue, which honestly is just a slightly darker version than the one that we just pulled, and just bringing this up into the crease even more to help build up that color, and then doing the same thing with this light blue. This is really going to help brighten the whole look and definitely pull all of the colors together. We're going to be taking our black eyeshadow and using this we're going to be applying this just to our lower lash line just to kind of help frame our eyes a little bit more before going into ice crystals from our frozen palette and applying this all over our lid. I'm then going to be going into this dark blue eyeshadow from the palette and really just building this up around our crease and outer edge before going into our NYX faux white eyeliner and baby powder and just applying this to our lower waterline. We're hopping back into our Frozen 2 palette, taking Flurry, which is basically a gorgeous pressed iridescent glitter, which I am absolutely in love with. And then we're gonna follow that up by doing a nice bold wing by taking our NYX liquid white eyeliner. I'm then going to be going back into my James Charles Morphe palette, taking these two blue shades, and we're going to be moving on to the face. I'm going to be using these as our contour shades. You definitely want to make sure to blend as you go because we don't want this to be too harsh of a line, and you also want to blend this down to your neck and chest as well. I'm going to be deepening this up by taking our darker blue just to make sure that we have a little bit more dimension and that the contour looks more realistic. Despite the fact that it's literally blue contour. <laughs> I'm then going to be outlining my lips with my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in black before we move on to taking our Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Sea Seduction and just applying this all over our lips. And for a little bit more added glam, I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Villains Just Your Voice Jelly Much Eyeshadow and applying this to the center of my lips. 
Going into our Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit, I'm going to be taking blue ice and using this to highlight my features. This is my cheekbones, my nose, and even bringing that down to my collarbones and neck. I'm going to be going into my ColourPop Frozen 2 Mythic Journey lip gloss and applying this all over my lips before hopping into my Frozen 2 The Dark Sea glitter and applying this all over my body and face using a stipple brush to really make it look like we are made of the snow that we sing about before prepping our eyelashes to curl them and taking our Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, sweeping this through our eyelashes, and then we're going to be going into our Graftopian Pro Paint in White Swan and just lightly sweep this through our brows. I was finding that they're just a little too dark for my liking. And then last but not least, I'm taking my favorite eyelashes, which at the moment are these E&E &E cherry lashes, and just popping that right onto my lash line. And that is the completed Snow Miser makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And of course, with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!